Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest shattered the glass ceiling in the world of sports broadcasting. She is a superstar, sports analyst, reporter, and co-host of College Game Day on ESPN, the first African-American yes. woman in that role. Please welcome the very talented, the very beautiful, the very special Maria Taylor. Yes. Thank yes. you, ladies, for having me. Seriously, I'm so happy to be here. Yes, yes. this is awesome. Welcome to the show. We're so proud of you. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm personally proud of you, and I have been singing your glory since <laughs> I saw your name on the board and telling all the ladies just a wonderful, uh, how wonderful you are. But mm -hmm. let's talk a little bit about your sports journey and what sure. it's been like for you. Sure. First of all, I want to say thank you to Rashawn because she's always been there for me. If I picked up the phone and said I need some advice, she answers oh, right yeah. away. I'm in the car with the kids. I'm going to call you right back. <laughs> right, right. But um, the journey's been amazing. I've done way more than I ever dreamed I'd be yeah. able to. Being on game day was never what I considered an option for me. I I always wow. thought I'd be doing volleyball and women's basketball, so to be covering football on the college level is Whew. something new. Man, that's great. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. It's mm -hmm. awesome. Yes. Marie, I got a real question mm -hmm. for you, and I, I, I think I might know the answer for this, but I know you're going to clarify. Sure. Being a female broadcaster, right, mm -hmm. is, do you have to work 10 times harder to gain the respect of the athletes? Ooh. Absolutely. And I think, I mean, you guys know being a woman mm -hmm. in a male-dominated field, uh, I used to walk into coaches' meetings because you meet with coordinators and head coaches, and right. no one would speak to me. They would come in and shake everyone's hand and uh -huh. introduce themselves, and you, you have to earn their trust, essentially. And I think yes. it takes even a little bit longer being a woman because they want you to prove that you understand what you're talking about and you're there for the right reasons. Right. You know what I mean? And once they figure that out, now it's great, you know? Yeah. Just got off a college football tour. All the coaches were welcoming and they gave us jerseys. You know what I mean? Like, it's completely 180 <clears throat> change. But, but it takes a long time to do that. I mean, mm -hmm. I remember being in the locker room, even with the Falcons and the Hawks early on here, and they look at you like, What's, what's this up? about? Yeah, what's this <laughs> really about? And so, yeah, they, yeah they right. get you, you automatically, but you have to gain the straight face. Like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, she really knows what she's talking about. So let's talk a little bit more about you and your background. Of course, mm -hmm. basketball, volleyball, you yeah. played at the University of Georgia. Mm -hmm. You played at Ada's there. What's up hey, to all the AKAs hey, there? Okay, okay. And, but you wanted to be a doctor. I did. I thought that that was how I was going to stay around sports. I was going to be a team doctor. Like, Ooh. literally in high school, I was on the health science track. I interned at my pediatrician, and then I got to college and took biology and was uh -huh. like, oh, well, it no. Got real. This, <laughs> isn't, this isn't what I want. I don't want to take organic chemistry. So I changed to business, took accounting, hated it. Yeah. Um, and then I just went to a class, a journalism class with my best friend, and she always wanted to be an anchor. And I was like, this is what I'm supposed to be, yeah. and I can cover sports mm -hmm. instead. Good, mm -hmm. good, good, good. Well, I, I got to tell you, um, you got a lot on your plate these days. <laughs> you know, I, I can only imagine with your new promotion at ESPN mm -hmm. that, uh, you, you know, you got new responsibilities. Mm -hmm. How are you managing it at all? Yeah, it, game day added a new light almost um, mm -hmm. to my job. So the summer goes away. I can't say that I'm managing it well is basically what I'm going to get to. But okay. I did um, the NBA combine and NBA draft and where I'm usually off all May. I just don't say no. I look at this time in my life as I'm an athlete. And so you can <laughs> only use a, have a certain amount of years mm -hmm. and you're only going to be the girl that they want on TV for so long so right. I got to use it up perform at the highest um, ability that I have and then also just kind of like work really hard it's grind time right yeah now. it is yeah. you know what I mean so I'm taking advantage every single advantage um, of what the opportunities that come my way when uh -huh. you when you're out there and they're like, well, send it down to Maria Taylor and you you know you got a hit you got a hit you got a hit do you feel like you carry all of us on your back absolutely yeah. and no one yeah. else understands that but you guys yeah. like sitting yeah. here and having this yeah. conversation right. you know look at that picture yes. look at these pictures yes. I'm the only one that a lot of people people are going to run into and I feel that way when I walk up to players like it's good for them to see me like yeah. to have a conversation with me uh, I feel like I, I'm walking on a fence if I say something too black I'm gonna fall on this side uh -huh. and then people gonna be mad at me over here if I say something that's too middle uh -huh. down the fence Dak Prescott for example yes then I fall on this side and, and you can't return from either one of those things Man. so wow. you know you're constantly doing a balancing act and un or act and understanding that you're representing black women every single time you walk into a room yeah. wow that is too good Speaking of black women, and then then all all women yeah. in general, who who do you look up to? Who the queen herself, Robin Roberts? I mean, <laughs> the queen. Yes. I mean, I watched her. Look at her. Look at this picture. I yeah. know. She let me shadow her when we were in Charlottesville, Virginia. She was wow. doing a feature on Carla Williams, who's the first uh, African American woman to become an athletic director at a Power Five mm -hmm. school. Yeah. I shot. I shadowed her in New York. She's called me after GMA and talked for an hour and a half when oh, she doesn't have awesome. to do that. Man. And I've always said I want to make young women feel the same way that Robin Roberts made me feel when I was coming. Yes. Up yes. And how are you doing that? Like with your platform. So on Mondays, I usually have a Google Hangout. If people slide into my DMs and ask questions, I'm like, listen, you can talk to me on this Google Hangout at this time. 
time. I have a manager that kind of coordinates everything. And so I'll answer questions. I have a nonprofit called the Winning Edge Leadership Academy where we mentor African American or minorities and women. And we're trying to break down the glass ceiling of sports. So yes. I'm connecting my network with the individuals that want to work in it and building that bridge. Yeah, that that's is awesome. good. That's good. <laughs> what are some of your, your long term goals, Maria? I mean, hopefully one day I can be on a morning show like GMA. Yeah. I would love to, you know, channel what I've learned in sports into a broader topics, but also producing more content and yes. getting in documentary style films and sports. There's so many different ways mm. to like show what you want to show now. Netflix, right. they have series like oh, yeah, anywhere. Netflix is yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to be like, a creator. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Just owning your own content. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, yeah. Man, I'm so I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. So proud of you and love to see you every single morning. <laughs> I mean on Saturday mornings yeah, on college yeah. game day. I'll watch it. Maria Taylor makes Make sure you catch her uh, on College Game Day, ESPN, Saturdays at 9 a.m. That's 2 12 p.m. Eastern on ESPN. Like I just said, let's give it up for Maria Taylor. Thanks, ladies. Thank you. <laughs>